Right. In Newton's third law of motion, it's very similar in how to work with it as Newton's first law, which is based mostly on theory and application. You have to apply it after you've learned the definition. So the definition is as such. When object A exerts a force on object B, object B simultaneously exerts an oppositely directed force of equal magnitude on object A. Now let's unpack the statement a little bit. If we have two objects currently in our system, object A and object B. Now, if object A exerts, exerts a force on object B, meaning let's say object A is you, object B is a wall, now the force you exert on the wall means the wall wall simultaneously, meaning at the same time, exactly at the same time, not just afterwards exerts an opposite force on you. So essentially it is going to be equal but opposite in direction. Now this makes sense due to the fact that when you push on a wall, the wall does not push back at you harder so that you're not falling backwards. The only time that it occurs is essentially when you increase the force you exert on the wall. So if you run into a wall. If you run into a wall, it essentially then exerts the same force back on you, so therefore you end up getting hurt. All right, we've actually been using this theory for a majority of our lessons already in the term of that. Force of gravity and the normal force. Now, if we take the force of gravity and the normal force, the force of gravity is the gravitational acceleration that the Earth is exerting on the object, creating a force which goes down. Now, if our object is on a surface, we could say that our object is object A, our surface is object B, and therefore the force of gravity is equal in magnitude but opposite in direction to our normal force. Alright, and that is essentially Newton's third law. You are essentially just writing out and identifying the pairs that will be exerting different or pairs, force pairs, where they will be exerting equal but opposite forces against one another. Okay, now this is essentially the reason why many things do not go through objects. If you place a cup on a table, if you're sitting on the floor, you are not being accelerated up, you are not being accelerated down, you are constantly just at rest due to the fact that you have opposite forces acting upon you. you. The force of gravity which is acting on you is equal to the force that your chair exerts up in order to maintain your position. Okay. Now, we can see examples of where the force of gravity is greater than the force that your object can exert. That's when things will break. Sitting on a cardboard box, for example. The box cannot exert a force upwards equal to the force that you exert downwards, so therefore the box will collapse. All right, so those are the three laws, no, three of Newton's laws which you guys need to know. Newton's second law will continue and have all the calculations. Newton's first and third law, you need to understand what the topic means and the definitions which you are given.